Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Nana. Nana. You know what it is? That D and D on. So it looks like we're gonna see another mid build. And it is Myth Freya. Actually you're probably gonna build a pylon in the middle. Or of his choke. Two gateways. And we got the one and only Myth Freya. Freja. And so he's going with pool. Quick gas, so speed zerglings, and going to <coughs> scout with the drone. Don't know why he's scouting here if he's already got I think he meant to click. Whoa, what is going on here? So I do not what know what's going on here. So we got basically a mid build for Buell. And I only have six games, so I did the first four. And the score is three to one, mid Freja. Freya. Gonna go straight into a lair. And he's gonna try to sneak. Very, very interesting sneak. Lurkers. So here's your zealot right here. And let's see those zerglings probably come out of here. There they are. Man, this is fun stuff. And gonna try to snipe out this probe. He does not want to know he's up against a quick lair. Or he went for a quick lair. More zerglings right here. Can he catch it? Two shots. Here comes your zealot. And gonna micro these guys back. And gonna build a pylon right here. So I think Buell kind of knows he's up against Zerglings right now. Well, duh, but like quick Zerglings. So let's just see. That lair should be... Let's just see what's going on here. Lair's done. He's got a sunken and building a drone over here. So we'll see why. Oh, he's going to put the Hydralis den over there. Okay. And now he's got speed zergling, so <clears throat> Buell is going to need to get one more sunk in. And this is, there's your shield battery. This is very, very interesting, but he's going to need at least two more sunkins here. And we'll see once these cannons finish, I think Buell's going to go for the attack. There's your Lurker upgrade, three Hydras. Gonna try to make some Hydras. Needs one more Sunken. This is a lot of Zealots. Is he supply stuck? He's just a little bit supply stuck here. Here comes your attack. And got a couple of Zerglings right here. I see those Sunkins. And he's gonna seize up against a lair, so takes out one zealot. And gonna spot out, and there's a cannon here. Next is coming down. So Buell thinks he's playing this safe, but he's really not. Because there's hydras over here. We're gonna see lurkers get morphed. He needs another sunken though. At least two more sunkins. Shouldn't be wasting any of these guys. Yeah, I think this is going to be game right here. So he's got the Overlord over the Sunken, but, I mean, they still go in and attack. It was a nice concept. And he is going to leave. Now, <clears throat> possible... Now that I, I'm thinking of it now, a pretty... Interesting idea would be to build a choke first. We'll do this, but then build a choke hatchery, and then I guess you'd have to get two hatcheries, so two two more hatcheries. So I don't know if that would work, but I mean, if you got the choke hatchery, 
you can defend a little bit better and just wall that off. So, I don't know. Now we're going to see Buell on the Zerg. And going to be middle spot, and we'll see Free just Protoss. We'll see. I have a feeling he's going to go maybe mid build. We'll see how good his Protoss is. Pylon on seven. And we'll probably see a double hatchery. No gateway. So double hatchery is going to go triple gateway. So we're going to go for that rush. Going to scout this out. And someone told me the way to make this move over the larva is you grab a unit and I think it's S. And you just keep clicking and it automatically just moves the larva to the middle. So try that out. You see get that last zealot right here. There it is. And there's your nexus. So I never I haven't seen a triple gateway into a nexus like that. So there's your larva in the middle. The probe can is he gonna try to sneak this in, clip it? Can you clip in a zealot? And this is gonna finish up. And if I was him, I would just go straight for another Nexus. There's your first gas. Can Buell even up the series? He's in a pretty good position right now. Here's your first cannon, second cannon. Here's your cyber, needs to start using that nexus right there. Trying to figure out where he wants to put this. Gonna see the cannon back at home. Ooh, the Overlord. Gonna go a little bit too far. There's a decent amount of zealots here. Is it gonna go down? Ah, oh, Buell, big time mistake. Only has one extra hatchery, other than these two, I guess. He's always got this larva here, just in case there's some try to run by, but should be good. And this is a robotics already. There's your robotics. Another cannon gonna come down. We'll see if he goes with a Stargate. I would get one more gas. I would have had another Nexus if I was him. Instead of building a cannon over here, it just these cannons seem unnecessary. Two cannons would have been a hundred minerals less than another Nexus, and I mean he could get a couple more cannons. After that next, that third next is finished, but because <clears throat> he knows Buell is not going to have hydros this soon, he's got a ton of zealots here. Another hatch are going to come down. Looks like he's going to build the hydros den and probably a chamber, double hydros. Citadel, support bay. See if he goes into a shuttle or if he just goes straight into Reavers. Best bet might be to just go into Reavers and then take these out and then try to go for some drops. There's your upgrade. I would also have gotten a Stargate just to scout your opponent. See if maybe he's going with is he going for Hydras? Is he going for possibly Guardians? But it looks like he is going to try to bust through the front. Reaver, Shuttle, Pylon over here. And now, I mean, if he had that Nexus already, he'd have a little bit more minerals, I feel like. And if he wanted to, he could build these cannons three or four more. A 
We'll see if that lair comes down pretty soon. <clears throat> it's about time. About 6.30 maybe. So he dropped... He dropped one zealot in to get that scout. We saw that lair timing. There's your Reaver. See if he just uses this guy to start attacking. Doing a pretty good job macroing up. Double chamber. Couple more gateways. Another hatchery probably gonna come down. Two more hatcheries. We're just gonna start pushing. Seven minutes, 20 seconds in. And this is one thing that you see kind of hamburger sauce to do is, and then he'll put maybe three more hatcheries he just gets absolutely huge. And then he just waits for you to attack and he's just got so many hydros. Let's see if speed gets made pretty soon. Probably a lair. I'm uh, not a lair, a spire. Get the spire so you can start getting some scourges. And yes, I know how they're pronounced, scourge. But scourge sounds better. There's your nexus. Upgrade almost done. Reavers. <clears throat> you only at 80 supply right now, so I mean. And 6 plus 4, 10 gateways. Doing a pretty good job here, I feel like. Myth Frija doing a pretty nice job. couple probes. Actually, he's got two stargates that he made. There's your reaver. That's gonna get sniped out. Save the other reaver. I guess these guys, these reavers can't shoot or they'll start getting attacked. Even if you, because they just can't see. I, I mean, I, I think if you put the shuttle over this, it can see. So, some more gateways. Wants to kind of fill out his base. A couple templars as well. Buell going to slowly get bigger and bigger. Probably going to put four gateway or four hatcheries here or four hatcheries here. There's another drop. Snipe out the reaver. Snipe out the second reaver. Tried to pick it up. Pick that one up. That one's going to get picked up. Going to try to go around. And one reaver in here. Oh, we snipped out one, but the reaver's going to drop. There it is. Double reaver. Ooh, going to get a nice shots off. Down to 39 drones. Somehow, Buell saved 39 drones there. So, I'm gonna bring these guys around. I mean, Myth guy's pretty, pretty good. Here's your Corsairs, gonna be annoying. Snipe out these Overlords. Here's your Mutas, there's your Spire. 1-1 one, one upgrades. Corsairs, gonna be able to take out this Overlord. More cannons gonna come down. Let's get a couple more pylons. Here we go. And here's your scourge. This is what makes players like Buell is they're able to control their scourge and then also the mutas. There goes one, two, three. Ooh, didn't finish that one. Wow. I mean, that's it's gonna start taking some shots at these guys. Why not? Three more robotics here. Four more robotics. And all up all forges here, not getting all the upgrades though. Here's a drop. And seven Templars in here total. See if he starts getting yeah, six more hatcheries right here. So we'll see if this drop makes it through. Scorgy's gonna 
Ooh, there's your Templar. Gonna get the storm off, but already pulling the drones. That was a lot of Templars, Zealot in here. Nice pull from Buell. Dark Archon. And we might see an attack, level two, upgrade. And he should make sure and I it makes me mad when players just attack like this. You need to put all your units right here and then attack at the same time. These guys are just wandering in here. You can use these guys over here, these guys over here, these guys over here. This guy does a pretty good job macroing up for only playing around 200 APM. And he seems like he's a pretty smart player overall. Buell's got this guy over the over the sunken. I mean, once Buell gets like this big, it's really, really tough to start beating him. See if Mythfrija goes into some type of scouts or something. I feel like scouts get neglected a little bit in PvZ. I think he's is he looking for drops right now. This drop might come right here. Gonna put some more sunkins down. And Buell's been spending his money pretty nicely. Probe. Here comes your drop over the middle. And Scorgies. There's one Reaver. Storm gonna come down. Two Storms. And that was a pretty solid drop right there. Two Templars in here. It's gonna drop them. Pulling the drones. Nicely done by Buell. He's not gonna fall for that. That was a really nice drop, and he's got a ton of robotics here, so he's just gonna be able to like, go for another drop very, very quickly. There's your Queen's Nest. Buell's got 70 drones, so. He'll be fine. Can he even up this series? Cannon's gonna come down. One zero two upgrades. Let's see if two two on the way. And Buell's gonna be basically maxed out, and he might be able to put another four hatcheries over here. Maybe start getting some sunkins, some lurkers. Wonder if he has it upgraded yet. There's your hive. <coughs> Comes your drop, and that's gonna get spotted out. But it doesn't seem like he saw that. So maybe try to bait him. Bring the mutas over here, and then go with the drop over here. Here comes your drop. He's just gonna drop everything right here. Trying to sneak through, dropping a bunch of zealots, a bunch of reavers, and a bunch of templars. And these are some pretty good drops. Reavers are absolutely dominating. Another couple storms. There's a templar and he's gonna try to sneak this guy through. Here it comes. He got it through, not gonna see it. Oh, he pulled them just in time. He's got them all hockeyed. A couple queens are going to spawn. This guy's a little trickster. Another. Could maybe just go in with this. Oh, there's no Templar in there. It's a Zot. Rebuilding the shuttles. I'm not sure if he realizes that he's got all these shuttles right here. 
But now, if I had to bet Buell, I'd say Buell's going to win this. I do think that Buell needs to get his Defiler mount a lot quicker. He's got some lurkers right here. And let's see if this guy, there's your observatory. Gonna go with an Archon drop. Greater Spire on the way. Two, two upgrades. Let's see when he gets these three, three. Here's your queen. There's your 3-3. Three, three. Oh, I saw something here. Here's your drop. And green stuff going to come down. And that is going to get destroyed very, very quickly. This guy's good at storming, though. Very, very good at storming. Another storm gonna come down. This guy's got. It. But now, I think Buell might start going on the offensive here. Get some guardians. See if he uses these guardians. Let's see what Myth Frigia's. It's got a drop right here. Guardians are going to start moving out. You going with two drops? I just don't see a drop working here. Dark Archon. Ooh, that was pretty sick. I mean, this is, you just don't see that. Drop two of those guys, do that. That'd be pretty sick. That is a move, and then you just storm them. Question guys, can you do that to drones and then make it so you can storm them? So if they started moving up, you try to stop them. Can you stop them? That would be a sick maneuver. And Buell gonna start moving out. Hatches are gonna come down. Got a drop coming over here. Let's see, he's got the scourges here. Nice storms coming down. I mean, this guy's storms are just. Top of the line, Mike Jones. Archon's getting made. Here comes your drop. This is going to get sniped. One, two. Archon and three Templars in here. One's going to drop. Not going to storm, not going to storm, not going to storm. Too many lurkers, guardians. This guy coming over, though. Does he have a chance? Does not. Where is that defiler mound? Oh, there it is. See if Buell maybe just goes for a drop on the side or something. He's got the guardians that are going to take this out. Twenty-eight 
21 minutes in. And all those units are in here, so. A lot of units in here. The mutas are going to be able to snipe this out, though. One, two, three. Storm, but Poland. 76 drones, and this game's going to be over. Probably going to start sending these guys on a over. He's got the Guardians coming over as well. This is all dead. And Buell going to win another ZVP. These guys are probably going to turn to Guardians. Make this series three to three. So good games right there. That was a lot of fun stuff in there. So some, little, some things you haven't seen before. Two things for sure. So good games. Give it a like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.